Disney thought they had won the animation crown back with Inside Out 2, but hold back, Disney. Don't make that assumption because guess what? There's a gumption with those little yellow minions. Despicable Me 4, out of the blue, suddenly declared to have $200 million plus on the way in its very first week of release. Folks, we've got the breaking news right now. Hello folks, welcome back to the Pro Channel where we are monitoring the situation with Despicable Me 4 kicking Inside Out 2 out the door and potentially, based on the way this is all playing out, beating it at the box office this summer. Something that Disney, up until just very recently, thought was not possible. Now it may be up to Moana 2 to try to save the day and give Disney the top spot once again as they were so used to having for so many decades. We're going to share with you exactly what's going on with the panel. Folks, let's get started. All right, folks, here it is. Uh, Disney was hoping that Inside Out 2 would be absolutely the proof in the pudding that they were back on top of the animation throne. Looks like those extremely low predictions for Despicable Me 4, put them to rest. It's gone. It's over. Uh, just like what happened last week in terms of uh, polling, Turns out the polling for audiences going to see Despicable Me 4 also very, very wrong. Take a look at these huge numbers. We're going to put them in perspective in just a moment. This out of Anthony D'Alessandro and Nancy Tartaglioni. When you see both of those individuals in the same article, there's something big happening. Because Anthony handles the domestic, Nancy handles the global. Never shall the two uh, be put in the same article, but in this case it is. Something is afoot. Here we go. Despicable Me 4 to set off fireworks over Independence Day frame. Global, cum bound for potential 200 million plus. It's the plus sign that you need to pay attention to by Sunday. Now, what that means is that this will not even have been in theaters for a full week. And I'm here to tell you too, folks, that July 4th isn't always the best when it comes to uh, movies because... The kiddos want to go watch fireworks. Now, it's not bad, but it's also not uh, some of the, you know, it's not Memorial Day weekend, but it's not bad. But just saying, watch this, though. This is huge. This is huge news. It's going to absolutely uh, kick Inside Out 2 out. Families will not stop heading to the cinemas this week as Illumination Universal's Despicable Me 4 storms into summer with what's looking like a 110 to 120 million five-day U.S. Canada opening at 4,000 theaters. This, as Disney's Pixar's Inside Out 2 remains strong after the thir third number one weekend, that pick heading to half billion stateside before the week is up. We're going to explain why this is so, so big in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. I do want to remind everybody, though, that Despicable Me 4 was predicted to make something like 70 million, and we all said, Valiant Renegade included, we're, we were saying there's no way. There's just no way. Now that has changed, and it's changed quickly inexplicably wonder what happened. Already, Despicable Me 4 has 25.5 million from 20 offshore territories led by Australia with the addition of 52 markets on July 3rd, including Mexico, Spain, and Brazil. The picks running overseas box office could jump to a total of 75 to 80 million by Sunday. Those new markets look to deliver 45 to 50 million for the weekend after debuting on July 3rd, including previews all in Despicable Me 4's global cum is bound to stand around 200 million by Sunday. Now, this is actually a very, very big deal. Let's talk about why. We've got to scroll down a little bit to explain what this is going to do to the box office and what it's going to do to Disney. That five-day domestic for Despicable Me 4 isn't anything to be cynical about after the $123 million Friday to Monday overperformance of the franchise's previous title, 2022's Minions, The Rise of Gru, over then the 4th of July frame. Pause for a moment, folks. What this means is, and it's a $200 million plus, remember that, they're not telling us what the top end. They're saying it's going to make 200 and somewhere north of it. But wait a minute. $123 million is what it performed in its very first four-day. We're comparing it to five-day. But remember what we said about July 4th. It's not necessarily the very best holiday. It depends on what day it's placed in the week, of course. But if we look at that and we say, hmm, how did the, uh, how did the first one perform? Well, it performed at 123 versus 200 million plus. That's at least a 40% increase. Where does that put this film? Well, folks, if it follows a trajectory that's similar to the first, but it has a 40% increase, I can tell you what that looks like. That's Super Mario Brothers movie territory. 
And how do I know that? Because I remember what the first weekend did here. 146 million was what it did domestically. 200 million plus. That's the North, right? In its first week and the total gross. That's that's very close. Very, very close to what they're predicting for this movie for its first week. So what does that mean? It means we're looking at a Super Mario Brother level turnout. Okay. But there's something else to this. Oh, I love this analysis. Not because it's coming from me. I can't wait for the panel to hop in on this as well. Folks, Inside Out 2 is at $1 billion. It needs 300 more to hit that Mario level. But what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Well, let's go back to the deadline article. Inside Out 2 should be at negative 45% in week in four with $32 million. Put aside the, per the percentage drop for a moment. If this film makes $32 million in week in four and Despicable Me 4 turns into an absolute juggernaut, Inside Out 2 is going to shuffle out of here and it's not going to make the kind of money it needs to keep up the pace. However, Despicable Me 4 has no such competition coming out to dethrone it over the next months. It will run with a completely open runway from here to Labor Day. Minions oh for everybody. I'm not right. trying to... Be overly negative at Disney. So, I'm just saying this is big. This is big. Right, right, right. Just to point this out, the only thing that's going to come in and get in its way is Deadpool. And uh, I'm going to say Deadpool is uh, a different market, or at least I'm hoping for the parents this, of America that, yeah. min that Minions and Despicable Me are a different market than Deadpool 3. Well, you're right, because this is a four quadrant film, and Deadpool and Wolverine is not uh, for the very nature that's an R rated film. So, I mean, you know, you're going to. Maybe cut the line off at 12 years old if you're a parent. But I I'm going to say it this way. When Super Mario Brothers opened, and this is why I share your optimism, Pro, um, they opening weekended to the tune of 377 million global. And that was over Easter weekend. So I, I'm with you. I think that this will, uh, this is going to do big numbers and it's going to, you know, box out, um, Disney's film. You're going to see uh, that thing just back up and right. the, easily predictable. The 120 that this is projected to make in the U.S. and Canada, that is that is 15 million short of what Inside Out 2 made globally in their first weekend. So um, that is that is massive and that is amazing because because we've all been trying to figure out here. Is it Disney that's back here? Is it the box office in general that's back here? And and with this, this this gives me some assurance that that if we can get butts in seats back at the box office again, and of course, there, there, we won't talk about the factors that drew people away from it initially. But but right now, I look at this and I think, what what in the world is going on here? Do we finally have a real arms race like Universal and Disney going at each other's throats at the box office here, where Universal was the biggest biggest studio at the box office last year they beat out disney for the first time any studio has beaten out disney at the box office for years and years and years which means that disney has to be competitive which means that disney i don't want to say they're going to make safer calls but they're going to be going for the hits if you're looking for a turnaround at the walt disney company they're going to be looking for things to do that are entertaining people and they're going to be pushing away from the things that that are alienating people which is of course what universal has been doing for years now i you know inside out 2 is a lesser sequel to me inside out 1 is a masterpiece and inside out 2 to me is okay yeah we'll check the box i find more humor in cars 2 than i do in the uh supposed emotional catharsis of inside out uh 2 here yes so, that's right so i said it Cars 2 with Mater making pistachio ice cream jokes is better <laughs> than Inside Out 2. So I've run the numbers. Uh, the math shows that if Despicable Me 4 performs the same way that the prior Minions movie did, and it has this kind of an opening, then it's looking at about a $1.33 billion worldwide haul. Now, the reason that matters... So much is because Inside Out, open strong, it's holding strong, but Inside Out 2, as Culture was saying, is about to be boxed out by Despicable Me 4. What that means is that Inside Out 2 gets a three-week runway. Despicable Me 4 gets a runway as long as it wants in terms of family theater allocations. They're not going to suddenly start going back to Inside Out 2 if this film busts out of the box office like it appears to be going to. 
And this is amazing. I, I would love anyone to explain to me, why did they think that this was going to make $70 million in its opening, and now all of a sudden we've got a global $200 million? Like, how did that change in one week? Exactly. Another thing I wanted to add um, on the international side is the only country celebrating 4th of July Independence Day is the United States. Ooh. And so over here, um, it you know, families are on summer break, so they will probably do very well. And then um, I have to be very, very careful uh, my wording here. Uh, I'm not sure. I have not heard if we will be having uh, celebrations um, for military families over here. If not, then the movies is going to be where all these military families are going to go for fourth if they're not going to be celebrating at home. But in Germany, there's quiet hours. Everyone's pretty much going to the movies and getting home before 9 p.m. And then once they get home, they'll celebrate the fourth in their villages. So, um, yeah, and I'm, I'm just giving you like from the perspective of uh, military families overseas to add that into the mix. So you're Absolutely. saying that all the countries in the world don't celebrate the United States as much as the United States? Do they not appreciate the global freedom force that we've constructed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get all kinds of feedback. When <laughs> what the, with the fireworks? It's their independent. Yeah, in my village chat, it, you know, what's with the uh, fireworks? Fantastic. So it's the Americans. It's their, and it's funny because we actually have Brits that will join in on the celebration. They, they'll throw up fireworks too. <laughs> and uh, in solidarity, you'll celebrate with us. Loki, what do you make of the uh, fireworks that are surely going to be uh, flying for the minions over the next few mm -hmm. days? And, and specifically, do you have any kind of estimation or, or understanding about why suddenly the uh, fortunes of minions have changed so dramatically that it's gone from, yeah, it's probably going to make, uh, I don't know, 75 million, barely even come close to what it's made in the past to, it's the biggest movie of the summer July season. Oh my gosh. What, what, what's going never, on? Never underestimate the hot, exhausted parent that wants their kids to be quiet for an hour, <laughs> hour and a half. That's like, come on, we're going to the movies. Really? We're, yeah, we're going to go to see Despicable Me 4. Really? Did it? Did it? Did it? No. Shh. You will be quiet and you you can laugh at the movie, but no talking. I don't want to hear mama. I don't want to hear daddy. I don't want to hear this. We're going to see a movie and you got to be quiet. And they will take the kid to the movie. Why? Because it's air conditioning. Oh, out of the heat. You got snacks. You got the kids eating popcorn, eating candy, laughing at the movie. And and they're, they're, they're generally quiet so they can watch the movie and laugh. Never underestimate that, especially... <laughs> When it's hot outside and you're like, oh, I just need an hour, hour and a half where the kids aren't doing this to me and this ain't happening. Let's let's just take them to the movies. Let's take them to the movies and they can run around at the movies and we can just we can act like we're watching with their glasses on and sleep. Yeah. And for us over here, it gives us something to do because, you know, we're overseas and, you know, we're always looking for something to do. If we can't really travel too far, then we're stuck to our local area for whatever reason. Um, yeah, the theater on base gets uh, really backed up. And then we have a kino, uh, the German kino uh, in the economy, and they get pretty busy too. Um. <laughs> well, Despicable Me 4 looking to get very busy, folks. And that is, uh, that is putting a uh, real chill in the uh, House of Mouse because they thought that they were a surefire bet now to get back the crown. That crown... Although they get a chance at with Moana 2, uh, if Despicable Me 4 performs, and I'm going I'm to go out on a limb and say this, if it performs like the prior Minion movie, with a 40% increase over uh, the starting point in week one, if it holds the same trajectory, that's all it's got to do, then it's going to land somewhere around $1.3 And if it lands at $1.3 then I don't see how Inside Out 2 is going to beat it. I think Inside Out 2 is easily going to clear that billion. It already has. We said it would. But I don't see how Inside Out 2 is going to go much further than 1.2. Now, I'll say this. When we have this kind of a conversation about which 
animated film in the summer is going to uh, win past a billion. It's really good for theater owners. And as we've always said here on the show, uh, one of our top priorities is that theaters continue to survive. So this is a great uh, discussion to have and to try to figure out which one's going to win because it means that theaters may survive to 2026. And that's what we want. We don't want theaters to go away. We think it's a societal norm and a cultural thing that needs to stay. We think it's important. We think communal gathering around entertainment matters. And uh, having all of our theaters go the way of Kmart and Sears, not a good thing. So I'm going to go around the panel real quick. Panel, give me your prediction as we get ready to close out uh, which of these films is going to uh, get the win at the box office this year. Now that you've seen the numbers, is it Inside Out 2 that will reign supreme or is it Despicable Me 4? Despicable Me 4, yeah. for me anyway. Um, it, 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 Inside Out 2 did, did fine. This is going to be the fun summer blockbuster that all the parents are going to take their kids to go see that that adults will go man i saw that i saw the original back when i was like 10 years old i want to go see the new one this is this is where it's at so definitely definitely despicable me for yeah i say despicable me also it's got a larger following it's generational because this is what their fourth movie now and um i think the last movie that came out my son he was in high school came home and he's like oh mom we're, we're bunch of us are going to the theater and I got to get dressed up help me you know put something together because they were going to go dress up as like Gru and walk in like this I don't know it's like a whole thing back then that kind of went viral um and I'm wondering if something like that will come out of this movie which uh would just hype it up even more and make you and entice more kids and actually teenagers so many teenagers um the high schoolers out here I know just love are they like obsessed with Despicable Me um, so yeah, I, I, I vote Despicable Me too. <laughs> Culture? I think Despicable Me is not just going to capture the weekend. I think it's going to dominate. And I have a feeling that you were correct in your assessment. It's going to have legs. It's going to have big legs, long yeah. legs. You know, sexy legs, you know. <laughs> but I think it's going to I think it's going to Easy be now. Those minions, they're cute, but they're not that kind of cute culture. I don't hey, know what's hey, going hey, on with you. Hey, 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 the, I'm this, uh, hey, uh, there's uh, there's more than minions in this one. It's despicable people me. People get dressed up in costume to go see these movies. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So, Especially so let's talk about your yeah. following. <laughs> and, and Jonas, what do you think? Which one's going to win? We may have lost Jonas for a moment. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Despicable Me 4 uh, looks like it, it, the, the bigger start is usually the bigger deal here. And and even if not, uh, the merchandising opportunities for more minions and the theme park opportunities for the minions. I think I, even if it's just the box office, yeah, I think Despicable Me 4 is going to beat out Inside Out 2. But uh, from a merchandising standpoint, uh, Illumination is already dominating Disney at the box office right now. So for the rest of the summer, we've got Deadpool and Wolverine. We've got Twisters. I think Long Legs is coming out, but I mean that's that's a horror film. We there's really there's really not a family film that I think is going to have any chance of sidetracking Despicable Me. And that that's the genius of this uh, of this scheduling. Inside Out Two was always going to run into after three weeks a crowded runway, and the movie that comes out second, you know, tends to have that that open runway to to just dominate money 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 so we'll see what plays out folks but this is definitely not what uh the industry specialists were anticipating as shortly as two three days ago I mean, that's it's amazing how big that is and ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end yet again of another video of excellence right here on the wdw pro channel it is an honor as always to have you join us and folks we would be so honored if you would consider clicking that like button share subscribe Click it, stick it to the algorithms, it's the notification bell, drop a comment down below, let us know your thoughts, and folks, we're hoping that you're having a very happy holiday week this week. Whether you're off, whether you're not, whether you are uh, spending time with family and friends, we wish you a great big win in your life. All right, folks, we will see you very soon. We hope you have a great one. Until then, keep learning, keep growing, and keep having fun.